Good morning. Good news Saturday. Big rally today in Washington DC. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. That's what I heard. People in support of Trump, in support of all the Americans who voted for him. People standing up for what is right. Uh, brilliant. Yesterday I talked about Obama, this idiot. He was interviewed by other idiots at the BBC and he claimed that all this talk about election fraud is basically a fantasy. He said it has to do with Trump. Trump, he doesn't want to lose. That's why people talk about election fraud. I saw this. 234 pages of affidavits alleging election irregularities. So these are people who are willing to testify in court. 234 pages. That's a lot of paper, isn't it? And you would think maybe this is uh, Florida, right? Or something. It's from one county in Michigan. 234 affidavits from one county. So maybe this is just a fantasy, Mr. Obama, idiot. You're so full of crap, aren't you? How do you feel about this? Being so full of it. Yeah. Now, this story from, is from Sweden. I have been waiting for this one. It's fascinating, so listen closely. Uh, it's about people dying. Yeah. From the flu. I use the word flu because YouTube, they don't like the C word. In February to March in 2018, about 17,000 people died in Sweden. In total, February to March 2018, 17,000 people dead. All right? And then you move to the year of 2020. February to March, and you know what happened. Every day, media talked about people dying. Yeah, people got scared. Even I got scared. Yeah, I admit, in February 2020, I was worried. Yeah, they kept talking about people dying every day. So, during this period, February to March in 2020, 1,687 fewer died in Sweden. Yeah. Yeah, as I said, I have been waiting for it. I didn't think it would be less. I thought it would be like level. You see, but it was less. And this is reported in the most respected medical magazine here in Sweden. In an article written by Johnny Ludvigsson, a professor. He also said this, reporting has continued despite the fact that Sweden has had no excess mortality since mid-June compared to 2015 to 2019. No excess mortality. So, what some people have been joking about, that this flu cured heart disease and cancer. It was actually the truth, you see. He also observed this, that people stopped talking about people dying as a result of the flu. Now they talk about people dying with the flu, yeah. Uh, this hoax, this flu hoax, is probably the worst I've ever seen. Yeah. All right, I also want to talk about Austria. This is a tweet from the Chancellor, Sebastian Kurz. We will create a criminal offense called political Islam in order to be able to take action against those who are not terrorists themselves but who create the breeding ground for them. 
Yeah, something is going on in Austria. You know, there was uh, people died recently from an Islamist in Vienna. But as they say, this is not related to this. They have been working on this. Um, the Aust Austria will order the closure of mosques that it deems a threat to national security. Uh, they, on Monday, they raided more than 60 addresses linked to radical Islamists. So, and then you see what's happening in France. The big question is, is it now starting? The, s the civil war? Yeah. When the old culture of Europe is defending itself against the new culture. Finally, some personal stuff. I'm doing the switch. I'm looking for a new platform for my videos. I want to leave YouTube. I already left Twitter and moved to Parler. I opened the account on Parler, which is a great platform. I, saw, I found so many good people there, like uh, Paul Joseph Watson and um, Katie Hopkins. Yeah. There will be a link below to the, par the Parler account. All right. Yeah, I have to leave YouTube. Yes. It sucks. <laughs> it does. What they are doing. It's getting worse. Every week it's getting worse. The censorship. The blocking of free speech. It's terrible. Okay, so I feel good about this switch. Okay, I wish you a great weekend. Bye.